You, you good? I defeated the king. You shouldn't be it. <laughs> but you gave the dog a upgrade, like. No, no, no. You were just cry. All these puppets look utterly down, depressed, even. And that seems weird. That's weird, right? Why they still attacking me though? With their king dead, they they seem lost. Then again, maybe they're mourning him. Whatever's happening, it's like they can't tell their elbow joints from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them. I hope this is where I get the bottle of wine. Don't worry, I'll catch up later. What you looking at? <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's you again. How you doing? How you show up? So cute. Oh, wait, hold up. What? Are oh, you alive? I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill. I... I'm still not gonna kill you. No, why are you here? Man, I look so bad with this hair, though. I ain't playing. That's kind of bad. What the f is that? Ow. Oh. Okay, I have no health. I'll give me a minute. I'm on your side. How did you do that with no thing? Man, why are doubles here? Aren't you enemies? Stop! I hate that guy. Isn't the old woman of the uh, venerable lady looking for some wine? You don't like the wine you've got? Yeah, let me go do that real quick. Oh my god, f that guy. Actually, seriously, that guy was annoying. He was harder than the king of puppets. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Calling any and all stargazers in the vicinity. Please respond. Over. Alright, give me a second. Hey, I'm I gotta do everything. Can you hear me? Rini, Aviva, it actually worked. This has to be how the king of puppets did it. How he called to the puppets and controlled them. I can't believe you can transmit your voice through ergo waves. What a brilliant discovery. And you'll never believe what signal I've picked up over the ergo. A cry for help from the grand exhibition. Somehow someone survived. I'm suspicious too. But you have to investigate. What if it's some trapped innocent? Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Oh, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this glimmer of happier days is priceless. Oh, why, you almost forgot. Speaking of price, here's what I can spare. Please, take it. Strike a light. 
you find a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Fanini Foundation. The Foundation is a sort of fan club. A very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Once Master Vinini established himself as the <clears throat> Prince of High Society, his popularity skyrocketed, and his signature coat and glasses were mass-produced. This is one of the originals, however, from the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? You have restored Master Vinini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. Oh, I actually did do that. Thank you. The grand exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Croft. But you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare. Ours. No, dog, you die first. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. But who invented you? Wrong thing. If I have to fight one more of those things, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm already pissed, but I wanna be extra pissed. I'm tired of this game. Damn! I have no more health to deal with you, so I'm gonna run right past you. Man, what is this? Why is he up here now? Where the heck is he Look at that head, look at that head. Shut up. Bruh. There is no way you got up here that fast, bro. You have a cousin? This this is not even hard. This is just childish. Like, why? Here, acid? I don't know. There's another one! Um, home guy, get... You good? Another fine day in the city of just where you've been dying if your goal is to study the human condition there's no better way than my riddle position you know how it is it's time for a quiz today's riddle might have you over the barrel mm -hmm. but get this one wrong and you will be in peril answer correctly or tango with danger but when you quiz with the king danger's no stranger now listen closely and heed the king's speech, or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glorious. As a parent in this city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So I'll reward you with a hint at the grand exhibition. You now must behold all ten fingertips of the woman. Before she escapes your notice, then I'm done with you. Mostly. Fight! 
to the followers of the What is with the boxing? Oh my god. Brother, brother, you can talk this out. I just got here. Damn, this is an epic music. I'm gonna parry everything like I'm doing boxing. I'm playing him. I'm scared. What the f is this, bro? Man, what kind of soldier similar is this, brother? Like, damn. Here's that face. There's some big ripoff type stuff. To us. Bro, you, 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 you big? Yeah, you know bad man? This is the power of the I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring. This place. What do you suppose our cure has created here? some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational as we are. I'm impressed, even if it's a lie. I'm sorry I underestimated you for being a puppet. You're open-minded enough to hear the truth about the petrification disease. The disease does not signify death. 
It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Erga's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting, not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the Alchemists, isn't hospitable. Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. So you met Simon. I've been dreading this conversation. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future, even worse than the carcass monsters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can. Of course, please, save Croft. Will you do, um, me a favor? For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. S -s Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you, a longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Nah, you can't do this to me. I think God is a time limit. Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine.